Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is May 31st, 2024, and this will be coming out June 1st. Can't believe it's another new month. And I'm so looking forward to, I finished my blankets that I uh, joined in all my mouths. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting new inspiration from those. I've had a wonderful, wonderful, busy, busy week. Um, Monday was relaxing. And then Tuesday I had baseball. So Amanda was over part, part of the day. And then we went to baseball. We lost. But... Um, our, our regular parties are going to be starting next week. So I had the girls over my house once again, and every girl brought over a little appetizer or a dessert or some chips or something. And I put hot dogs on the barbecue and we all had hot dogs and it was wonderful. And then the rain came. So we all rushed inside into uh, my uh, family room and, um, it poured. The uh, coaches and my husband stayed outside and they had to come in because the the winds and the rain were so bad. And once again, very late night, uh, the last uh, few people left at 1130. And uh, this old gal needs to be in bed by 10, 1030, the latest. But uh, we had a great time. And then on Wednesday, went and got my hair cut. It's a little dirty now, but... Uh, uh, my husband's home again today. It's Friday, and we're going to be heading over to uh, his mother's house. We spent all day yesterday there um, trying to get it ready for to put on the market, and there's so much stuff. They've lived in that house since 1965, so it's... I'm exhausted. My muscles hurt from bending over. Colin and I have found so many really neat things, and... Um, his mother said, take what you want, but you know what? We have so much stuff. We put um, a few things in boxes to bring home and sort through. And we've had the kids over to take what they want. So, uh, but you know, the furniture, there's couches in the basement that are from the 60s and 70s. So remember the old brownish uh, couches, but um, everything's in great condition. They really looked after their items well, but I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're probably going to get a great big dumpster. And um, I know Colin and I can't do it, so we'll have to hire some young lads to throw everything in the dumpster for us. So after this video, my husband's still in bed. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning. I wanted to get this done. I'm in my jammies here. So uh, we're going to head back over there and um, continue cleaning and sorting through and getting rid of some of the little stuff. My husband took two runs to the dump yesterday, and this that's just for little things that we found, you know, in her linen closet. There were so many old sheets that weren't even, you know, good enough to donate. I took a trip and donated uh, three big bags of uh, clothing and little knickknacks and stuff that um, we're never going to use, so uh, we sent it over there. So once again, we're going to head over there when my husband gets up. He set his alarm, has his work alarm. So he usually gets up around 8.30. So once he's up, I'll run and get dressed. I'm not even going to shower till after we're all done today. Because, you know, moving things that have sat in the same place for 20, 30 years, it's dusty. So um, we went over there. We used all our paper towels. So we have to stop. At, oh, or I'm going to just go downstairs and grab some paper towels and some cleaning supplies. That way we can get it spruced up. But like I said, it's an old house. And in the area we're living in, it's a beautiful bungalow on a double lot. It's huge. And a lot of people are knocking these houses down and um, making huge mansions, like huge, huge houses on these large properties. So we're not going to upgrade anything. We're just going to sell it as is. And um, hopefully we'll get a good price for uh, my mother-in-law. So uh, yesterday, I and it'll be coming out Friday morning, I did my book cover inspiration. And I'm just going to show you. I know a lot of people don't watch the uh, book cover inspiration, but you should because the colors in the books are great. This uh, last book, I only chose two colors and I really enjoyed it. I'm just going to show you quick, quick my blanket if you haven't seen it already. So um, I will link the pattern below, but that was the uh, squares that I did for my wheelchair lap game. 
And I really loved the way this turned out with the bold color, the gold and the navy blue. So that was my book cover inspiration. That was one of the items that I was working on the last few weeks. And I really like the stitch and I uh, used the stitch as a border also. So that was my uh, blanket that I made for book cover inspiration. And um, probably not going to get much done uh, between now and next week because I'll be heading over there. Colin goes back to work on Monday, but I'll be heading over there and trying to uh, keep going through all the stuff that we need to do. So let's get on with our whips. I am working on my paint by number and I'm loving it. And it's right here. So that's the paint by number there. I'm almost finished all the uh, little flowers and then I have to fill everything, all the background in black. So I think it's so pretty. It's getting blown out a bit. It's probably better there. Yeah. And elephant in the room. This is my uh, mannequin. It's actually a so. Oh, look at that big fluff in front of my camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the mannequin is actually a seamstress mannequin, and it's set to my side. But she's got a, a smaller waist than me, and I can't get the waist out any further. So that's Mandy the mannequin. So I did the and I did not. No, I haven't started a new paint by number. Oh, sorry, a new diamond painting yet. I have been working on my mom's memory blanket. I showed you some of the uh, squares I had made. So I've been sewing them in. I've already run out of the uh, cream color. So I'm going to have to whip up some more cream. And it's so funny. It's the same square with the multicolor and the uh, the creamy beige color. But uh, I like making the uh, colored ones better. I like the way uh, it turns out. So um, a little derelict on just the plain granny square, solid granny square for my mom's memory blanket. So I'll probably be doing some of those as we travel in the car. Oh, and last night, my husband surprised me. He goes, you're not cooking dinner. We're exhausted. So I jumped in the shower, rinsed off, and uh, we went to the keg which is a steakhouse here in Ontario and it's excellent and the prices are crazy but he had a hundred dollar gift card and it covered most of the uh, dinner so I didn't cook last night I had a wonderful dinner I have been working on my socks my son-in-law's birthday is I thought it was the fifth it's the tenth of uh, June so I am working on the uh, foot right now so I've got to get this done so I'm going to be focusing my uh, time on this. I do, you know, four or five rows a day, but I'm going to have to do like 10, 15 rows a day. So I've been working on my socks. And what else have I been working on? I've been working on this, but we'll get to this in a minute. Oh, and last, um, was it last weekend? Yes, we had a game on the weekend and it was a little cold and Paige wore one of her sweaters that I had made for her and she got so many compliments and it made me feel so good because it was bright and colorful. So she goes, Nana, I need another sweater. And I went, oh, okay. So uh, after the game, <coughs> excuse me, we came home and we're warming up a bit because it was the whole game on the Saturday rained. So um, we came home and she uh, marched upstairs and she picked a color and thank goodness I had enough. I had uh, a cake and a half. So the sweater is going to be made out of Karen's skinny cake. And this color is birthday cake. And it's getting washed out, but it has some blues in there, pale blues and white and orange and some pinks. So I started on a sweater and the uh, pattern I'm using is uh, from MJ off the hook. And it was done in a lady small and it was worsted weight. And let me think, she used a 5.5 or a six millimeter hook. So I thought, you know what, small, if I go down to a, a three, and you use a size four hook, it should be good. And it's working out perfectly. So this is what I'm working on right now. Oh, you can see the blue there, that's great. So um, it's a great pattern. You start up at the top and um, 
work your way down. I am now working on the rim at the bottom. So I've got half of it done. And I have been loving working on this because you know what it is? It's so tiny that um, I can, like I started uh, Sunday. And like I said, I've been busy most of the week. So that's the front and that's the back. I still have just over half to go here for the uh, bottom cuff and then I'll work on the sleeves. So I'm hoping to get this done this week. They are off camping this week and I probably won't see Paige till the following weekend, but I am having so much fun and like the colors are spectacular and they're turning out pretty good. They're, they're a little darker than what they're showing, but um, a lot, and I'm not color controlling it at all. I had half a, a ball and I started with that. And the only time I color controlled it was to uh, match up where I joined and that was it. So like I said, like right here, it, whoops, it stops, but I just let it go. So I'm really loving it. And the pattern is so easy to follow. It's MJ off the hook and I will link the pattern down below. So I am loving doing this. Like I said, the colors are good, but they're much more vibrant and brighter than what they're showing up. So that's what I've mostly been working on because when Paige wants something, Paige gets it. So that's what nonnas do. So uh, I've been doing a lot of that. Um, let's see, what else have I been working on? I think that's it. Like I said, I didn't start a new diamond painting because I finished my old one, which I don't have. It's way over there. So I am going to pause you for a minute. <laughs> and I'm back. So let's move on to finished items. Uh, I did not finish my square for my um, album Theory 101 Mal. Um, it came in late last night, the video I saw. I was getting ready for bed and I saw it come up. So um, here's a picture of what this uh, week's uh, square is going to be. And I'll, I'll put it in next week's video. Once I haven't even started, picked out my colors, nothing. Like I said, it was late. I was getting ready for bed. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to spend another hour searching for colors and um making the square because i knew we would be busy busy today so i wanted to get to bed at a reasonable time i did finish my diamond painting uh, i it, it turned out great i have no idea what i'm going to do with this diamond painting it doesn't match anything in my house anywhere but it's made and um i don't know what i'm going to do with it so there it is there and it's a beautiful scene and the colors are spectacular and it's quite large too. I'm going to say it's probably, is there a measurement on here? Let's see. It is 20 by 16, 20 inches by 16 inches. So like I said, it's beautiful. It's completed and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. So that was my first finished item. And then my only other finished item is my top right here. So I got this finished um, pattern of my own. I had this cotton yarn and I thought, you know what, let's try something. I don't make things for myself often, but I thought this, it's a heavier yarn. And I thought it would be perfect to go with jeans on a cool summer night. So um, I uh, started from the bottom, well, from about here, bottom up. And the back panel is just one rectangle and I just measured across my shoulders and the front I am um, there's a big fluff coming there it is it's the yarn <laughs> um, and the front I started the V I could have gone a little deeper I like a deep V neck but um, that's where it happened and it was I had to pull out both sides because I I had never designed a V-neck for myself. I've done boat necks and I've done a little square neck, but um, I was decreasing every second row and the V was like too tight. So ripped both sides back and did every row. 
and that's how the V turned out. And for the back panel, I did add on either side. I counted how many uh, stitches I had left on either side. And what I did is I added two more rows at the back so the neck wouldn't be way up here. So just on the sides, matching up with the front uh, part, I added a couple rows on the back. So I made sure that uh, my uh, I had the same number of rows on each side. And then it was... I had lots of blue and I thought it was going to be long enough, but it wasn't quite. I want this to sit right where the biggest part of my belly is. Like I have high waisted jeans. So like just below the high waisted jean by about that much. So I added some stripes in and I'm so glad I did because it does add definition. And then I just added um, single three single rounds. I did a blue, a black and a blue and, and same with the V stitch here. And here I used um, half double crochets and then two singles in blue. So I'm really pleased and I can't wait to wear it. It is a heavy sweater, but I thought, you know, perfect if we are going to someone's house in the evening and we'll be sitting outside. And I'm so happy I did it. But I am going to go buy a pattern from MJ and I am going to make one of these for myself and for my daughter. My daughter and I are but close to the same size, but with, you know, um, I have to uh, figure out what yarns I want. So I'll be working on those slowly. So we'll have them for the fall, not matching or anything, different colors. And I'm just going to use yarn from my stash. I have, I believe, three skinny cakes in the, uh, the grays and uh, whites. So that might be uh, nice neutral colors for us. But uh, I love the way this pattern is working up. And um, I'm even thinking I could use some cotton because this um, ribbing at the top is done side to side. And then you turn and single crochet along there to start. But I'm thinking I can start from the single crochets and uh, make like a top like this for the summertime. So I think that'll be a nice idea too. Maybe do, you know, just a single crochets to start off. But uh, we'll see. But I am going to buy MJ's pattern. I, I love the way this uh, tutorial is. And like I said, it worked out perfectly with dropping the size and everything. But this is just square pan, um, rectangle panels front and back with the V-stitch in the front. And I'm so happy I did it. And I'm I can't wait to wear it. I really can't. There's um, like, I love wearing my sweaters in the winter time, but I don't have enough and uh, lightweight yarn or cotton combinations. It's very hard here in Canada. We don't have um, Hobby Lobby and Joann's. We have Michael's and they don't have that many cotton blend yarns in, in a, a lighter weight. So um, I'm not sure where to get it. Uh, and here in Canada, like even if we spend $50, we have to pay duty on it. And, you know, it's hard enough with the shipping costs and, and the cost of yarn now. And then add the duty onto that. Uh, my last thing that I got from England, and it's probably going to be my last, uh, I believe the whole order was 50 pounds, which is $75. And that was uh, with shipping included. And then the mailman male woman person brought it to my door and I had to pay another $32 Canadian for duty. Like it's just crazy. So, you know, five mini skeins and a uh, project bag cost me over a hundred dollars. So if anybody knows anywhere where I can find some nice cotton blend yarns here in Canada in Southern Ontario, please let me know. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, I'm very happy. This was my only finished item, and I'm very happy how it turned out. I did finish my uh, book cover inspiration. And go check out my book cover inspiration and see if it's your book for um, this year, uh, this month. And um, I'll be sending out uh, a pair of stitch markers to the person that chose the book this month. And it's I'll link the video down below if you want to go watch it. So on that note, I am going to say goodbye. Have a wonderful whip weekend. I will be exhausted the next time you see me because of that means I'd been working at uh, Colin's mom's house for a while. And um, I will see you next week on whip weekend. Bye for now.